Hello, all of you wonderful creative people here on YouTube. My name is Ria and I welcome you to my Arctic Corner. Today, <laughs> it's time for a video that's long, long, long overdue. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. It's already almost the end of October and I am terribly, terribly late with posting my finished pages for the month of October. And I have a reason behind that. Uh, the thing is that it has been a very, very, very busy month. I barely had any time to color, let alone film or edit any videos whatsoever. Because last weekend, uh, there was a big cosplay con here in my country and me and my friends were participating and well basically I spent the whole month trying to finish preparing for the said con which took up almost all of my free time especially the last week it was hell <laughs> but nonetheless the con was super duper fun and I had a blast. I spent two awesome days with my friends. We took a bunch of cool photos. We performed on stage. We met and made some new friends. And also, well, I am proud to say that <laughs> our group performance won the third place in a group performance category. So uh, out of more than 50 contestants, in the set category. The fact alone that we took any kind of prize was just baffling. I'm really, really, really proud of us. And I'm also very, very proud of my bestie who was there in this con with me. She won third place in the solo category and I'm super, super proud of her. Um, you truly deserve it. Awesome. Anyway, before I start showing you my finished pages, I would like to add one more thing. It has to do with the upcoming month. I would like to apologize in advance because I am almost 100% sure that I will not be posting anything in November since we're going to be renovating our apartment and I'm almost sure that I'm gonna have to be moving <laughs> for a while, you know, just to avoid the whole mess. And such. So I doubt I'll have a chance to film. I will color behind the camera whenever I manage to finish during the said month. Uh, well, considering the fact that I'll be switching rooms so I have to move all my stuff to a different room. Anyway, it's going to be busy. I don't know, perhaps I will even include my November finished pages together with the December ones. We shall see. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I've ramble long enough let's just get on with it and today i'm going to start with one of my favorite books of them all it's colors by hannah carlson and a uh, last month uh wait a minute did i say finished pages for october no i meant september i did the same mistake last, on my last video <laughs> sorry about that anyway so the very first page I'm going to show you is this cute little bunny with a chicken <laughs> flying with balloons. I had my friend pick the colors out for the balloons and for the rest of the page I just blend with it. I used soft pastels on the background and the pencils I used in here are Faber Castell Black Edition plus Brickliner Macarons, I think. And some glitter gel pants. Yeah, the usual. So that's the first page. And I finally got to this double page spread. I had my eyes on these horses since the very first day I got this book. And finally. I managed to color these. These were done with black barrel 
improve boners. And I think I used soft pastels on the background as well. Put some glitter gel pens as the accents. There we go. By the way, I based them on two of my favorite ponies from the original My Little Pony show back in the 80s. There they are. <laughs> yeah, remember these cuties? Oh my god, my childhood. Oh, good memories. Anywho, on to the first body colors that I did last month. Again, I was offered to body color together with the middle-aged geek girl. It's not the first time we're doing this and as always it has been a blast. So as you probably know, each and every month she picks some sort of a topic, a theme for her colorings per se. So the month of September was a mandala month, uh, a mandala madness as she called it. And since I've realized recently that I truly, truly love doing mandalas. Of course, I agreed to body color with her. And since we don't have the same books in our collection, we just went with mandala as a prompt in general and did two pages together. So the first one was a mandala I did using a color palette that she picked. This these lovely colors here. I love the combo, by the way. And I chose this page here. I did it with alcohol markers mostly and some metallic and glitter gel pens. And here on the left, you can see her awesome page turned out really, really great. So that was page number one. And the second one I did following my color palette, which is uh, this lovely energy drink can. I mean, I just love the color. <laughs> it looks so playful. So I don't know, kind of reminds me of a bubble gum. I, I don't know, for some reason. Anyway, and since this is the book that I usually take inspiration from just random things I find around me, you know, basically anything. So yeah, it was perfect. And I chose this unicorn mandala. I think it was more than fitting for the color scheme. Like I said, it kind of makes me think of bubblegum, I don't know. It's this bluish pinkish combo. I used Ohuvu water-based markers, and glitter gel pens, and um, this sparkly pink here on the edges and on some spots of, on the unicorn actually was one of those Wang Na, I think? Yeah, Wang Na paint markers that I showed you in my last haul. Well, at the beginning they worked really fine, but then for some reason they kind of started to clog. I don't know how to explain that. They just stopped working anyway and uh, I had to finish with a <laughs> proper dual hybrid metallic gel pen around the mandala. I don't know, for some reason the paint pen just refused to work on this paper. And by the way, here on the left you can see middle-aged geek girl's awesome page. <laughs> she even did the background. That's so cool. So, that was a very, very fun body color. And next, back to my workhorse of a book. Kawaii Girl by Jade Summer. I did two pages in here. No, three, actually. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So this is the first page I'm going to show you. This was a body color with my lovely bestie Marita. And we picked this one here and here on the left you can see her awesome page which was based on one of her all-time favorite anime characters as far as I can tell. <laughs> Yay for Umi. And I don't know, I just went with whatever popped in my head and kind of got this generic schoolgirl look. This was done with alcohol markers and 
there's also some glitter gel pen on the page and there you go actually really really like the way it turned out and what do we have ah yeah white jelly roll for highlights second page was a random color challenge that we love doing in this book as well yep these are the colors that she picked for me actually overall well it took a while to grow on me not gonna lie but you know the more i look at this page the more i like it it turned out lovely and the last one i did by myself there you, where is it? there you go this is one of the pages that i still have left in the kawaii fantasy section of this book i did this water girl again with alcohol markers and some glitter and metallic gel pens here and there and white jelly roll for highlights i really like the way her hair turned out i'm not gonna lie i'm proud this came out lovely so a couple more pages and i'm done with this section of the book cool 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 cool, cool. so if you have watched uh, my previous uh, completed pages video i did this random wheel spinner thingy to kind of uh, pick an additional coloring challenge for me to do so uh the wheel picked games books and tv shows or some such so i have quite a few books to fit the topic and i figured that last month i should finally get back to this book here as you can probably tell i'm a big fan of Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy XIV. And this uh, is a coloring book I found that was dedicated to this game. This, this dots, lines and swirls coloring book, you know. So this was the first page that I did in here. Oh, it looks really cool on camera. So this character here is like a generic model that they use to represent your character in the game in trailers posters and official art so there you go and the second page i did is actually the same image but like a full screenshot or some such so i did two pages in this book and i think i'm going to continue to work on it in order i've done this last year so next one is gonna be this dotted picture here. I wonder what comes out of it. Actually, I'm really, really enjoying this, working in this book. And it's at the 14, I mean, come on. Speaking of Final Fantasy, last but not least, of course, it's this book here. <laughs> My um, dedicated uh, Final Fantasy mandala book that i'm slowly working through together with spicy cat colors and laura from live long and color now i'm a part of this whole thumb coloring group actually i started working with the girls last month but i still wasn't sure whether i'm going to join their buddy coloring group or but now that all things are settled i am proud to say that i'm really having a blast working on this book together with you two thank you thank you so so much for accepting me so i'm going to show you the six pages we did in month of september plus one that i did by accident <laughs> and i'm going to explain why while i'll be talking you through the each and every page that i did in this book last month i'll show you the pages of the two lovely ladies as well so you will be able to see kathy's page on the left and laura's on the right anyway let's get to it shall we so page number one this is the first one that we did and this page was dedicated to sarah Farron. From Final Fantasy 13 Part 2. 
Uh, again, as always, in this book I use oh, water-based markers and glitter gel pens. There you go. Is this lovely pinkish palette. And here are the pages by Kathy and Laura as well. This is the page I did by accident. So yeah, one additional page to add to the pile. By the time I was halfway done with this one, I noticed that it's actually the wrong number. I started working on this one while I was supposed to be working on this mandala instead. Anywho, this one was dedicated to Noel Cries from the same game. Final Fantasy 13 Part 2. There you go. I think I'm too zoomed in. Oh well. This was quite a detailed mandala, not gonna lie. It took me two or three days to finish, actually. But it came out lovely. I love it. Love the colors. The next mandala I'm going to show you is this one here. This page was dedicated to X Death from Final Fantasy V. Not one of my favorite characters, I'm not gonna lie. But he has a very lovely color scheme, doesn't he? Look at these colors. It came out so pretty. I love this one actually. One of my favorite pages last month, not gonna lie. Yeah. I also like the two pages that the lovely ladies did. Next is the page I picked for Elise Livia from Final Fantasy XIV. Here we go. There she is. I really, really, really like this color palette. It came out really sparkly, I'm not gonna lie. I love this uh, bluish gray glitter gel pen that I picked to represent the letter parts of her costume. Next, this one here. This one I picked for Edward Christ von Moyer from Final Fantasy IV. There you go. Actually, this mandala looked pretty weird when it wasn't colored. I really had no idea how I should approach it, but as soon as I remembered this character here, I figured it matches the patterns on his clothes and his scarf especially, well, perfectly. And with this very monochromatic color palette, this mandala came out really beautiful. I love it. All these ochreish, orangish, yellow colors with a tiny hint of green. Lovely page. Next is the page dedicated to Shelly Abenagan Balmasco from Final Fantasy XII. There you go. Or simply Princess Ash. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. I really like this color scheme. It's very muted, very calm, very neutral. And actually, this is the first time I used an additional coloring supply on my mandalas. Uh, this light brown color here, this one, is actually a, a highlighter. <laughs> it matched her hair color perfectly. I couldn't find a color more fitting to add to my coloring supplies. There you go. Now, and I think we're down to the last page. Yes, we are. I'm careful not to spoil this month's pages. Here you go. For the last one, I picked Faris Schrovitz from Final Fantasy V. There you go. This is another one of those weird-looking mandalas. 
that this book has. I think there's still a few more left. Well, I figure it's going to be quite difficult to pick fitting characters to suit these mandalas, but since what is here is a pirate, she kind of suits this ocean themed page. There you go. This is a very strange color palette, but all in all, it turned out really lovely. So, these are the pages I did for last month. And, well, like I said, with all the upcoming renovations and such, and, you know, the con I had to prepare myself for, I really didn't have a lot of time to color in the month of October. I'm still working on my uh, mandalas and my Final Fantasy book, of course. I'll be doing that in November as well, because probably that's the only thing I'll be able to color. Maybe a couple more if I'm lucky. We shall see if I have the time and conditions to do so. Anyway, before I go, I would like to say a huge thank you to all of the new subscribers that joined this channel, or practically flooded this channel recently. I'm very, very surprised. In the last couple of weeks, I was getting like new subscriber each and every day, <laughs> which was epic. I mean, it really shocked me in a good way. I don't know. So I hope you will like it in here and you will choose to stay. I'm sorry again in advance that you got me in such a peculiar time, but <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to be back with a bang, I promise, because I have a lot of new ideas, a lot of new stuff to show you that's just piling up in my closet, <laughs> just waiting to be utilized. Anyway, and, and new ideas keep popping out of my head. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it, I love you all. And that's it for today. And until I see you all in one of my next videos, I hope you'll stay creative, you'll stay artsy, and have fun in every single step you take. That's right, girls. Till next time, then. Ah!